don't remember. It was over a year ago. Definitely. Like, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. it's Ali welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I do have the three new shades of the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser lip balms for you so if you do want to see how these look on my skin tone then go ahead and keep on watching so I have actually owned a Pro Kisser lip balm in the past and I did have just the clear one that was released last year I used it a lot at the time but I lost it and I didn't feel the need to replace it. I'm not sure whether it was because I didn't like the lip balm or I didn't want to spend money on another lip balm when I can get a pound lip balm from the hair shop. I don't know what the reason was for me not buying another Pro Kids the lip balm, but we're gonna see in today's video if I can jog my memory a little bit or anything like that. But Fenty did release three new shades and I do have them all here for you guys today. So we are gonna try them out. And I am a little bit excited because I feel like I'm trying out a new product because I don't remember what the other one was like. So bear with me if I feel like I'm acting brand new today because I, I don't remember. It was over a year ago. I'm gonna pull up what Fenty Beauty says about the product themselves. So it says a creamy moisture lock lip balm with a plush doe foot applicator that smooths, softens and preps your pout for instantly luscious kiss worthy lips that last in sheer shades designed for all skin. So it has sheer and mango seed butters inside and it says the formula is non-sticky and has a light peach vanilla scent. This is something that I don't remember. So if the original also had a light peach vanilla scent, I don't know nothing about it because it was a long time ago. I just don't remember, okay? I'm sorry, I don't remember. So this is what they look like in their packaging. I wish I did have the original to show you guys so you can see how much of an upgrade this packaging is. I love that these have the color accents on them. It just makes it look a lot cuter, you know? Especially this one. This is the shade Pinch Me. I don't know if it's because it goes in my outfit or I don't know if it's because I like pink or what, but I really, really like how this one looks. Super, super cute. So we have 12 milliliters of product in here and these retail for 15 pounds or $18. Honestly, for a lip balm, it is super, super pricey, but we'll see how the formula goes and everything like that. I think I'm gonna swatch them on my lips from the shade that I think I like the least to the shade I think I like the most, so. Yeah. Before we do all that, I'm going to go ahead and do some hand swatches so you guys can see how those shades look like against my hand. And if there's a difference, because I don't know, when I did the Colourpop lip oils, there wasn't too much of a difference going on with the swatches, but this is a completely different product, completely different company. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to start with Coco Drizzle, and this is just a sheer chocolate shade and that is what it looks like on the wand and i'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand with products that are so sheer i can never tell if this is the color of the product or if this is just how the back of my hand looks like when it's glossy but considering that it is darker than my complexion i'm gonna say that is the color of it and it was really really smooth to put on and i'm surprised that it's as thick as it is I think my least favourite videos to film are lip swatch videos because I always mess up my foundation around my mouth area and I end up looking all types of crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lip. Yeah, this is just as I expected. So I'm not getting a lot of colour payoff here. It is really, really smooth though. Mm. Okay, so the formula is really, really smooth. It's not sticky or anything like that. It just glides on. I don't know how I feel about the shade though. It's not something that's like super showy on me specifically. But one thing that I will say is that it's definitely not peach vanilla. Like, I don't smell that. I don't taste that. I'm not picking that scent up at all. Like, not even a little bit. It smells... I don't know. It smells a little cocoa powdery. Like, very faint cocoa powder. I'm not sure if that's because it's brown or what. But I'll see if the other ones smell the same. But this is cocoa drizzle. 
Next we have Latte Lips and this is a sheer neutral pink. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand. So this is what that shade looks like. It's just a very sheer pink and it kind of looks like it's not going to show up on my skin. I'm a little surprised actually at how much of the colour I can see. I wasn't expecting to see this much of a pink hue to my lip. This one smells slightly different to the Coco Drizzle, but I think the foundation of how they smell is pretty much the same. Just Coco Drizzle has that slight, slight hint of the cocoa powder that I was telling you guys about, but I'm still not getting the peach vanilla. I don't remember if the original had that peach vanilla scent for me, and I'm not going to buy it again because now I have these three and it would, wouldn't make any sense to me. But I do prefer this one to the Coco Drizzle. It's actually cuter than I thought it would be. It's cute. Not £15 cute, but it's cute. And I like it, but not for £15. You know what I mean? So far, this is my favourite. I don't know why I'm saying that, like, there's five of them or something. There's only three. It can only be this one or the next one, really. And last but hopefully not least is the shade Pinch Me. And this is just a sheer pink. I'm thinking this one's going to be my favourite, but we are about to find that out. Here it is on the wand. And I just realised that I didn't show you guys Latte Lips on the wand. So for anyone who wanted to see that, that is what it looks like. And I'm gonna swatch Pinch Me on the back of my hand so you guys can see. Now that I have them swatched, I think I'm gonna change my mind and say that I think Latte Lips is gonna remain my favorite. That shade does actually look a bit too pink for me. So that bottom shade is Pinch Me. Then we have Latte Lips and Coco Drizzle, which has lost its sheen over time. So I don't know what that says about how long lasting the lip balm is, but hey. I'm scared now. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a super cute pink shade, but now I think it's going to make me look strange. And now for a lip swatch of that shade. So this is Pinch Me on my lips. I feel like the pink in this has greyed out my lips. I feel like this colour on top of my natural lip colour has created this sort of greyish pink colour. And I'm not a fan of it, honestly. I don't like it. Not even a little bit. Maybe if I used less product. So I'm going to wipe some of it off. It's not as bad now that I've wiped some of the product off, but I'm still not a fan of how this looks. I think this product launch for me, it doesn't feel like a necessity. I definitely would just get the normal one over these ones. And the scent for this one, I forgot to mention, feels exactly the same as the previous shade. I, feel, I don't know if the cocoa in the first one is something that I am imagining in my head because it's called Cocoa Drizzle, but... Peach vanilla, I don't know. I don't know if my nose is broken or what, but I'm not getting that peach vanilla scent. I'm just getting, I don't even know what. I don't know what. Something faint and it's not like super luxurious or super like, I need that on my lips now type vibe. It's eh. And all the lip balms to me are eh. Yeah. I'm, mm -mm. I'm not really a fan of these. I can't say that I rock with these like that. If I were to choose one, it would be Latte Lips. This is the one that I would go for if I had to choose one. But honestly, I'd go for none of them. Like, none of them feel like I need them, especially for £15. I do feel like they're overpriced. I will update the comment section about the formula for anyone who wanted to know about how long it lasts and everything like that. 
yeah i don't i don't feel the need to have them tinted personally i i i like the original as it is you know maybe without all the makeup and just as a lip balm maybe i'd feel differently about it it might be that i'm just sort of going by how it looks with all of this makeup on because normally i don't have makeup on so i might try these without all of my face makeup on and if i change my mind i will update the comment section but that's all i have to say on the products today let me know what you guys think of the lip balms have you got them are you going to get them are they overpriced how do you feel how do you feel about the price of these lip balms how do you feel about the swatches just one more time that is what they look like coco drizzle has pretty much run out now but yeah for me hmm. these are mm, nothing special not a necessity not jumping out my seat excited about them i feel like this is one of the very few fenty beauty products that doesn't get me excited so yeah i don't know i don't know i'm having a weird out of body experience to dislike a fenty beauty product this much it's weird for me it's definitely weird definitely weird i hope you guys enjoyed this video do leave a comment in the comment section down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't like share and all the other fun stuff that helps my channel out thank you guys for tuning into this video and i hope to catch you in the next one